Hi, I'm Heidi Honeycutt, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Who says scantily clad women can't be great leaders? Feminists and perverts can argue all they want over the 1985 sci-fi fantasy film Barbarian Queen, but all I know is it's a great film. I'll be no man's slave and no man's whore. Lana Clarkson is Queen Amethia in one of my favorite sword and sorcery films, Barbarian Queen. Barbarian Queen is one of several fantasy films Roger Corman produced in Argentina, directed by Hector Oliveira to capitalize on the success of blockbuster Conan the Barbarian. Clarkson plays a queen whose village is destroyed on the day of her wedding by the evil Lord Arakur. He kidnaps her sister and her fiance, and Amethia vows to save them and return peace to her country. First, last time. Barbarian Queen has been called misogynistic because of the constant female nudity, rape, and torture scenes, but I actually think it's a film about freedom from oppression and fighting for what you believe in. Clarkson did all of her own stunt work in this movie, and her intense sincerity as Queen Amethia is inspiring. Her handmaiden Estril is played by Trailers from Hell guru, Kat Shea, who is a really good sport. Tragically, in 2003, Clarkson was shot by music producer Phil Spector, robbing her of her life and us of her future roles. He would spend the rest of his life in prison for the crime. The screenwriter of Barbarian Queen, Howard R. Cohen, wrote the sequel Barbarian Queen 2, The Empress Strikes Back, in which Clarkson also starred, as well as the screenplays for several other Corman's films. Most importantly, my second favorite movie from childhood, Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealer. Barbarian Queen is an exploitative, violent, but beautiful movie, showcasing Clarkson's memory as a gorgeous, engaging, and fearless actress. We're lucky to have it.